The wealthy Nabataean traders attracted the attention of King Antigonus I of Macedonia in 312 BCE. Antigonus initially feigned friendship, sending his son Demetrius as an ambassador with a hidden agenda to attack. However, the Nabataeans saw through the plot, defended themselves, and forced Demetrius to accept their terms before returning to his father after the failed treacherous attempt. Enticed by Nabataean wealth Antigonus once again attacked and was again badly defeated and driven away. The Nabataeans' wealth was bolstered by their adept water management, allowing them to be self-reliant by constructing hidden rainwater-filled cisterns with coated markers for exclusive access, granting them a strategic advantage in trade and travel. The Nabataeans ingeniously constructed dams, cisterns, and aqueducts to divert flash floodwater, satisfying their water needs while optimizing water management. Nabataean culture embraced gender equality, granting women the ability to hold positions of authority, inherit and sell property, file lawsuits, and represent themselves in legal proceedings, as evident in inscriptions and historical records. Many popular Nabataean deities were women like Alaza, Manawat, and Alat.